Y'all see that? Y'all see it? He came and got me. <laughs> been through it I've been through it and that's a whole nother story but he done came and found me y'all I'm not as big as my shadow <laughs> I am not but look at those okay y'all to Pennsylvania yep Pennsylvania so if you are new here go ahead and hit that subscribe button go ahead and share this video like this video and comment down below this is Tanya Gibson Smith and welcome to my channel so let's get right into it um if you have been following my journey then you know I have been MIA for two weeks and that is because I have been through it. <laughs> Listen, I've been through it. Oh my gosh. So let's rewind. If you are, um, if you paid any attention to my thumbnail, then um, in the top the left corner of my thumbnail was the Leroy water tank. And then to the right of that was Days In. And then down below, to the left was me and my husband and then on to Pennsylvania so let's start with Leroy I think in my last video I talked about how my new trainer which was my second trainer was on the way to pick me up I was really excited about going with my second trainer and guys my second trainer was knowledgeable he literally gave me in 24 hours what I expected okay in two and a half weeks so big ups to him right these are my pros <laughs> he taught me in those 24 hours and yes i did say 24 hours because this journey this ride that we're on now i am with my husband for this duration of this video so but i want to catch you guys up and give you guys a um update as to where I am and what's going on so I'm sorry if you um, can tell I'm a little stopped up my nose is congested my chest has been congested I've been doing a lot of coughing my nose is runny and um, that is because when I got on the truck with my second trainer he informed me over the telephone that he had a cat and I told you guys in one of my prior videos, 
I would take a man, I would take a dog, I would take a man with a dog that smoke <laughs> before I take a cat, okay? The cat was just the last thing to go. I don't know if I told you all or not, but a cat jumped in my face when I was nine years old, and I just have not gotten over it. I'm sorry. I'm 51 years old now. I've carried this burden with me for 40 years, and, and, and I just... I mean, I don't expect for it to go away overnight, but I think that second train of thought that he could make it go away overnight. Okay, let's deal with it. Number one, I'm not here for that. I'm not here for you to help me get over whatever I'm going through about my cat situation, okay? Just, I'm not here for that. But I could be on the truck with you and this cat if you keep this cat away from me. And that was the idea. He agreed to it. I agreed to come. I got on the truck. Number one, the truck was filthy. Oh my gosh, the truck was filthy. It stunk so bad. I ended up with a migraine from you know where. And I could not shake it, okay? The migraine... Well, let me back up because my blood pressure went up. The cat kept standing on this box trying to look into my face while I'm driving. And I'm telling him, please get your cat. And, oh, he's not going to bother you. He's not going to bother you. This is my trainer. He's not going to bother you. Well, he's already bothering me. No, he's not bothering you. He just wants to look at you. He just wants to sniff you. He just wants to smell you. He just wants to see you. I don't want him doing nothing to me, okay? Get your cat. And this is what I keep saying, okay? We're going to end up in a ditch. Get your cat. So he didn't want to get his cat. This was the first problem. The second problem was he didn't want me to roll the window down while I drove because... My head was hurting so bad, guys. The stench that was in this truck. I think it had a lot to do with the feces that was in the bucket. Along with the cat food that was in a bowl right up right behind my seat. Along with this man's socks and shoes that he kept wearing over and over and over and over and over again. Ah, it was just too much. And, okay... He was 70 years old, almost 70 years old. He um, loved this cat more than he loved his wife. And, I mean, it was just all obvious how he felt about this cat, which was okay. But don't push your cat on me. And this is my problem. I'm telling you how I feel about cats from the start. And you are literally just pushing this cat on me. And you're going to make me deal with this cat in the small space. We're not able to do this. I didn't come here for that. He says, you're going to get over this before you get off this truck with me. I'm not here to get over that. I'm here to learn about this truck. And then I'm off to the races. Okay. So that was deal breaker number one. I dealt with it for as long as I could. But the problem set in when... 4 o'clock in the morning, it was my turn to drive, and he wanted me to get in the left lane. Now, I'm sure, as you can see in this video, my husband is driving in the right-hand lane the duration of this video. He may have gotten over in the left lane once or twice, but that was to go around vehicles that may have been parked on the shoulder or maybe go around a truck who had a heavy load but not just consistently driving in the left lane. We were taught not to do that as truck drivers and especially at Hirschback. Like, you do not drive in the left lane. Well, this guy wanted me to drive in the left lane. He wanted me to do 70 miles per hour. He also wanted me to do it while it was dark, and he wanted me to do it while it was raining. It was pouring down rain and cats and dogs. And he wants me to fly in the left lane doing 70 in black dark and I can't see nothing. So I had a problem with that. And then now my safety is, is, is at risk because, well, my safety was really at risk with the cat. Because I could have easily drove that truck off one of them bridges with that, with that cat. Kept 
standing up trying to look at me and sniff me and sniffing all around my cup and all kind of stuff. But like I said, I you know, I was trying to get past that. The feces in the bucket pretty much gave me the migraine, made my blood pressure run up. You know, behind my eyes started hurting. My, my face got red. And anybody who deal with migraines, you know that if you got a migraine, nausea comes behind it, upset stomach, diarrhea, it all just flows together. So I was in a fix. But let's go back because we're talking about 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning, speeding, 70 miles per hour in the rain in the left lane. So I refused to do that. And he kept telling me that I wasn't going to be a good truck driver if I didn't know how to, uh, uh, what do you call it, chase the miles. And I told him, you know, I'll get to that when the time permits. Right now, I'm in training. And I don't think it's fair that you harass me about driving 70 miles per hour when I can't even see and it's pouring down raining in the left lane at that. Okay. And I thought these trucks were supposed to be governed at 68. This is the second truck that I've been in that is not governed. But Hirschback said that the trucks were governed. So, you know, I, I, uh, I don't know. You know, I just was like, at this point, maybe I need to get off this truck too. So... And, you know, I don't know. You know, y'all let me know if I'm being petty or not. But I felt like my health was at risk and my safety was, too, with truck number two. Um, I wish I could just stick this picture in the video for you guys. But maybe I, I shouldn't do that, you know, just for his uh, privacy. He asked me not to take pictures of him. I took them, but I just I just won't post them or share them. But this cat was big as me. He was laying turds bigger than mine. <laughs> Y'all, I'm sorry, but it is the truth. And the cat had a whole bucket of boo-boo on the truck. And, you know, it, it, it was just unsafe. And he would not let me roll the window down while I drove. He wouldn't let me get any fresh air. He kept telling me it's too cold to roll the window down. Okay, but you're stifling me. And you got this cat boo-boo. And I'm breathing it in. And now I'm sick. He was coughing the whole time. I got a video of him coughing as well. And now my nose won't stop running. My nose is red. I'm stopped up. I feel horrible. But I just wanted to drop in really quickly and just give you guys an update. He dropped me off in... Leroy. I went from Leroy to Days Inn and then I told my husband what happened and he came and picked me up. I've been on the truck with him and this is what you've been watching and right now I'm just lost. I don't know exactly what's going to happen. I am still an employee at Hirschbach and I did go home. We went from Pennsylvania to Iowa and then, no, I'm sorry, not Iowa, Ohio, Indiana, Illinois, Iowa, Nebraska, Wyoming, Utah, Arkansas, Colorado, New Mexico, Texas, Louisiana, Mid, uh, Mississippi, Alabama, Georgia, and then to South Carolina. So we went around in like a little horseshoe. And after we left South Carolina, we headed back to Utah, uh, Iowa. Nope. Ohio <laughs> so yeah that's where we probably will be by the time this video drops and um, at this time I'm waiting on my glasses to be updated get my prescription filled get these migraines under control I'll update you guys to let you know what's going on but right now I'm just prayerful and watchful I'm I will update you um as soon as the news but i guess the next question is am i staying with hirschbach or am i going somewhere else am i gonna drive for another company or am i gonna give it around three um we'll see you know and i'll let you guys know <laughs> 
what's gonna happen but I'm, I'm just kind of all over the place right now um yeah but look at god's country guys look at how beautiful this scenery has been and um if you could take listening to me this whole time and and still being able to focus and watch then god bless you you multitasking <laughs> so um yeah just wanted you guys to know where i am what's going on and um hang tight i'll keep you informed see you in the next video peace and blessings always